Okay guys, so today we're going to be learning about Lethuli and his influence in the anti-apartheid movement of South Africa. So just some background information about Lethuli. His full name was Nkosi Albert John Lethuli. Uh, his Zulu name was Mvambi. Uh, he was born near Bulawayo in southern Rhodesia in 1880 or 98. What was kind of interesting is that it took us actually quite a few sources to find a legitimate date for that because it was kind of uh, reputed actually in the source that you gave us 1.4 it uh it didn't state an actual date just a year uh, so yeah um, he was trained as a teacher and as such he kind of championed education and you'll see this a lot in his approaches to his um his work Let's see. Okay, so some achievements he had before we get into his uh, political involvement. He joined the Natal Native Teachers Union, like I said before, he was trained as a teacher. Um, and he was involved in the organization of school boycotts. This is really where he kind of first started in his um, his protesting against apartheid. Uh, or apartheid. Um, and in 1935, he was elected as the chieftain of Groutville, which... Uh, he became the provincial president of Natal in 1951. Um, he also wrote The Road to Freedom is by the Cross, which pushed for nonviolence, and he really believed that nonviolence was the only viable strategy in opposing apartheid. Um, he also wrote an autobiography titled Let My People Go in 1963, and he received two awards. One was the United Nations Prize in the Field of Human Rights, which he received in 1966. And the other was the prestigious Nobel Peace Prize that he received in December of 1961. Um, and now, let's get to the real important stuff. His involvement with the ANC, which is how he really opposed apartheid. He joined the ANC in 1944 and was originally elected as on the Native Representation Council. And through this uh, position, he uses political power to oppose the government's violent suppression of 1946 minor strikes. Um, and then he became promoted to the president of the ANC in December of 1952. Uh, and he would remain president until his sudden death in 1967, which we'll get to later. Um, he was one of the key organizers of the, of the Defiance campaign. And actually, because of his involvement with the ANC, the um, South African government they would make him lose his chieftaincy of Groutville. Uh, he was also continually banned under the Suppression of Communism Act by the government, so he couldn't enter uh, South Africa. So he had to be consulted um, for his, you know, opinions and whatnot about the ANC from his home in Groutville. Uh, furthermore, he was arrested. He was also arrested in 1956 as part of the treason trial. His chair is awful. Uh, so let's get to the end of Lethuli. So he continued to be subject of um, constant banning by the South African government, but he still remained a symbolic figure to the ANC, even though later on his influence would start to wane. Um, he wrote, as I said before, he wrote his autobiography in 1963, Let My People Go. Um, and then he would have a minor stroke, which caused poor hearing and eyesight. And this would lead to his death when he was hit by a railway car near his Groutville home. Which we have a nice little kind of depiction of right there. Um, rest in peace. So yeah, he was a really influential guy to the anti-apartheid movement. But he was kind of, you know, he worked behind the scenes. He's essentially the uh, Nehru to Mandela's Gandhi. That's our presentation.